Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there in internet land. We are here live in listening room in downtown Grand Rapids. It's Sunday evening. Don't go to bed yet. I know you're used to going to bed around 7 p.m. on Sundays. We are going to party this evening, so get comfortable. Enjoy yourself. It's Spread the Music Festival right here from listening room. Let's start it off. Stove pipe. It's the God, feels like coming back from the dead. This is the first uh, live stream I've done during COVID where I've had pants on. Uh, this first song is, uh, you know, when you get into a new relationship and it's in the early stages, and it's going great and you love each other and you, and you can't do wrong in each other's eyes. There's that anxiety that hits you that, well, it's going well, that means it's going to fall apart pretty soon. Uh, so this song deals with that anxiety of, of the honeymoon period ending and it's explored through the eyes of a werewolf. This song is called Werewolf in Love. Well, she always says she likes a man who has a beard and works with his hands. But luckily for her, I am a carpenter who has a four-year plan. But she doesn't know that when a full moon fills the sky with silver, I turn into a wolf. You can even see my beard growing longer. Well, she won me over with her wit, her curves and that brain inside her head. And the moment that we kissed, I daydreamed about the day we two would wed. We made love in the afternoon, I love to have that girl in my sight. But we haven't figured out what I mean when I say that I work night. Well, life ain't easy when you are a werewolf in love. She makes me happy, though I'm always worried about that sky above. I want to kiss her. I want to make that girl my bride, my bride. Yeah, I'm a good guy. I just have a dark and hairy side Well, love's a silver bullet And it's lodged, bruised, and bloody in my heart It kills my lesser angels Makes me want to tear less people apart And I've ran hungry through the forest and through the city streets but when that girl looks at me it makes me want to lose these sharpened teeth well life ain't easy when you are a werewolf in love she makes me happy though I'm always worried about that sky bug I want to kiss her I want to make that girl my bride, my bride. Yes, I'm a good guy. I just have a dark and hairy side. If I had remembered my harmonica, I'd play a harmonica solo right now. Well, we walk into the midnight, and I feel the moonlight shine upon our feet. My teeth are growing. And I'm starting to look less like me. Well, I'll show her what I'm like when I turn from a man into a monster. And if she don't run away, then maybe we'll live happily ever after. Well, life ain't easy when you are a werewolf in love. She makes me happy, though I'm always worried about that sky bow. I want to kiss her. I want to make that girl my bride, my bride. Yes, I'm a good guy. I 
I just have a dark and hairy side I just have a dark and hairy side I just have a dark and hairy side My name is Lauren Johnson. Thank you so much for having us. This is amazing to be here with all these amazing people I haven't seen in so long. This is my drummer, Ben McNeil. And this song that I'm about to play you is called Prayers. Way deep down there's a river Inside you, that's where I used to pray. But when I awoke, my river was smoke, and oh my gods, they faded away. But I held on tight, said I was letting it go. Tell everyone I'm steady, but they already know. When I put my hands together, does that give me control? I'm praying like there's something that could make me whole. Ooh. Ooh. Are you aware of a voice that guides you? What is it trying to say? Do you let it speak? Does it ever leave? How often do you obey? Mm, didn't you know you're all alone, but you got rhythm and you got soul, honey? Walk to the rhythm now, walk to the beat. Keep your body moving, let the good Lord be in. And do you feel the rising heat? That's your body letting you be free. And when you kneel back down to let your soul be safe, no, you are whole, you're complete, and you were made that way. But we held on tight, said we were letting it go. Tell everyone we're steady, but they already know. When I put my hands together, does that give me control? I'm praying like the voice of God is not my own. Ooh. Ooh. You've got everything you need, child. Let your body be. Now you don't have to know. Feel it and release, yeah, you were born complete, mm -hmm. bet yourself be free of fear, you don't need no more, but I held on tight, said I was letting it go, tell everyone we're steady, but they already know, when I put my hands together, does that give me control, I'm praying like there's something that could make me whole. Thank you. That was beautiful, Lauren. Thanks, Mark. Ben, nice drumming, buddy. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here with us in the flesh, in the in the real flesh, in the digital flesh as well. It's 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 an honor. And it feels so good to be sharing some some sonic waves with all of you. Yes. Um, shout out to the listening room for hosting and shout out to Michigan Music Alliance for putting on one of the best friggin' festivals uh, since the pandemic has started, right? Spread the Music Festival. Here we are. Uh, my name is Music <clears throat> Mark, <clears throat> Mark Lavengood. We might have to actually, <laughs> we might have to register that one. My name is Music Mark. Um, my name is Mark, and I'm here to play music for, for everybody for the short 
amount of time that I'm allotted, so I'm going to keep it quick and play you a song that I wrote entitled Interlude for L.A. I retract my last statement. It's not going to be quick. It'll be just as long as it needs to be. And we'll do it in the key of G for all you playing along with us. how good music sounds in person. Let's do, uh, you know, I wasn't going to do this one, but I'm going to do it now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, again, thanks to Michigan Music Alliance. Uh, there's, I know there's donation links that are in the comment section in the post itself. Uh, great organization. I, I watch the majority of their uh, lessons that they give. Another thing to realize is us musicians didn't have a damn cent before the pandemic, so just imagine <laughs> how much we need it now. But yes, thank you to them in the listening room and all the fine artists tonight. Uh, this is a hopeful uh, song called Dead Fucker. There's a man in the road with a knife in his hand, an axe in his head, and he's gone past the end. And I swear I don't know him or what he has done, a pimp or a preacher or a son of a gun. Maybe he's a millionaire, maybe he's a peasant, but it don't matter now, no, not for a second. And I heard that death is the great equalizer that keeps us all humble Cause no one's a survivor Because he's a dead fucker He's not too much good brother Just a shell undercover In a gray me wagon And the things that he strived for what he sacrificed for is nothing but gone and over 
Will I see him again? Oh, I saw him by chance on my morning walk, picking up soda cans, walking on sidewalk chalk. I did yell, I did gasp as I tripped on his leg. Sister, nothing's as bad as a prank from the dead. A prank from a dead fucker who's not too much good, sister. Just a shell undercover in a gray meat wagon. And the things that he strived for what he sacrificed for is nothing but gone and over. Will I see him again? Oh, I know life's a gift from the good Lord above, but that gift can be stolen. It can be torn right up. So I hope that dead man saw something of worth, some specter of hope, as his spirit left her. Because that's really all we want, isn't it? Some barely burning Halloween orange firecracker of hope in our half-dead hearts. A reminder, the highfalutin piece of finality that said we did what we could do with what we had when we had to do it. Because after all, everybody, one day we'll be dead fuckers. We won't be much good sisters and brothers. Just shells undercover and gray me wagons. And the things that we strive for, what we sacrifice for, is nothing but gone and over. Will I see you again? Will you see me again? Will I see you again? Thank you. Sorry, Mom. That was beautiful. <laughs> My only thought was, oh. You should write children's books. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title of my next one. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right. Um, again, uh, you mentioned that there is a donation link in the comments box. Um, the Michigan Music Alliance has done so much for musicians this past year, this unprecedented year. I can't wait till we can retire that word. Um, and the uh, Michigan Musicians Fund has been amazing for musicians. So if you are able, donations are so welcome and so appreciated. So thank you so much. This, uh, this next song is called Winter, and it's a very, very, very new song, so I'm very excited to be sharing it here live. <laughs> When it's 
snows you feel safe protected hidden by the night and then I'm back in your car just a Everybody from Lauren Johnson, the debut. Yes, you can't tell me that, Lauren, or else you know I'm just gonna bring it to. I know, I know, it's so predictable. Did you just beta me, or did I? Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging out with us. This is awesome. Whether you're streaming from the listening room. Uh, or the Michigan Music Alliance, or any other syndicated site. Uh, we're glad to have you here. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, if you're just joining us and tuning in, uh, my name is Mark Lavengood. This has been uh, uh, the Spread the Music Festival. It's been going on since Thursday, is that correct? Wednesday, that's right, since last Wednesday, this is the second annual, and if you are feeling inspired, uh, you can donate and support the Artist Relief Fund and all the other endeavors that Michigan Music Alliance is supporting, just down in the comments, check it out. While you're thinking about it, I'm going to play about a three and a half minute song. It's a love tune inspired by uh, many a Grateful Dead. Uh, performance and also audience attendance from two particular people who fall in love according to the song i don't know it's based on a true story so um yeah this one's called the Win the dead song written by the winter sessions
Well, you never made it through that terminal gate. Just another hour I'm gonna have to sit and wait a minute. I'm thinking about the land I've been traveling through. The people I met and the things that I do for you. Like, take one, burn it long. Still come out of here, still come out of here, hey, yeah, and we could get to burn them long, we could still come out of here, still come out of here. Well, you never made it through that personal thing. We're going to start that one over again, guys. It's been a little while, I admit. Here we go. Well, my head was spinning hard when he entered the room. And Jerry was howling at the moon. We were both there when the space... Turned into a weed And it spun all night So we could Rest our knees And we could Take one Turn it along But we could Still come out of here Still come out of here Hey, yeah And we could Take two Turn it along But we could Still come out of here Here's the big, the big, well, it's the big, you know. <laughs> Ending, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Mark, did you know we were neighbors for like a week? short bro Come on, what this? <laughs> you remind me of those energy drinks i just being around you wakes me right up you well, don't even have to have it opened or like consumed <laughs> no. it's just you holding it it's... and then well i remember one morning waking up probably hung over miserable i'm not a morning person i went to get an amazon package and and to curse at the neighbors and then i see mark just a frolicking by with a mandolin a baja very short shorts big smile on his face it just put me in such a better mood. I mean, the world's pretty divided. Maybe the key is to just wear Bajas and frolic with a mandolin and short shorts. Yes. So thank you for that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but yes. Um, so uh, you can check me out at stovepipescaravan.com. Uh, I also do a podcast called Stovepipes Caravan. I run a gothic folk and country site called devilsmusic.net. And I sell soaps at stovepipesoaps.etsy.com. Not the most rock and roll thing to drop Etsy at a show. Uh, also, there is a link for the Michigan Music Alliance donations. Please go there and uh, be generous with your wallets. So uh, most of my songs are about death and horror, but I'm going to do one of my uh, earliest songs. This was before I played a stovepipe. And um, back when uh, the world was my oyster. It still is, but back when it was in a younger way. So this is probably the, this is a song I don't have to apologize to my mom for. Do a cover real quick called Make Sure My Strings Are In Tune. All right, this song's called Half-Assed Revolution. There's a sing-along part, I'll help you with it. Yes. 
Put your voice in a song Even if you can't sing Or get the words all wrong Cause music feels so much to me Like the breath of God Like a prayer for peace And I don't need a flower in my hair Or some half-assed revolution To feel a little love in my heart To put the good kind of change In my time And whether hell Above or heaven below my songs will mark my destination So let me shine Lord, let me shine Shine Broken strings And angel wings they stroke my skin with the melodies And I'm a better person only when I'm drunk Off of simple rhythms and the songs we sung And I don't need the flower in my head Or some half-assed revolution To feel a little love in my heart To put the good kind of change In my time And whether hell Above or heaven below My songs will mark my destination So let me shine Lord, let me shine, shine. Here's the sing-along part. It goes like this. It's really easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. Let's try it again. Hell no, I won't give up the dream, even if it kills me or makes me unclean. Cause my heart is racing with joy and pain. I'd rather die for trying than to live in vain. I don't need a flower in my hair or some half-assed revolution to feel a little love in my heart to put the good kind of change in my time and whether hell above or heaven below my songs will mark my destination So let me shine Lord, let me shine Shine Thank you. Oh, that was gorgeous. <coughs> Your singing was, was what made it, though, for Thunder. So uh, Stovepipe and I have shared a virtual bill a couple times since the pandemic started, and this is my first time hearing you live and your voice just... Yeah, likewise. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It's, it feels so good yeah. to be here with people and my friends and musicians, and ah, 
I've got a lot of hope going on. Um, this next song of mine is called Patterns, and I recently released it as a single, streaming everywhere now. Um, and for this song, I would like to invite my very good friend, Emily Petersmark, to the stage to help me out with this. I think the last time we played this together was in the studio when we were making it. And so this is going to be extra fun. <laughs> Um, uh, if you'd like to find my music, you can go to laurenjohnsonmusic.com, L-O-R-E-N. Um, but the best way to see what I'm doing is Instagram. That's L-O-J-A-J-O-H, Lojajo. Thank you so much, everyone from the Michigan Music Alliance, for having us. Hopefully this is the last time we have to have a festival like this, but it's been amazing to be a part of this. So thank you so much, and this is Patterns. <laughs> find the words to tell you where it hurts or why I don't mean long There's a look upon your face says you don't feel the same I know it's not your fault but I'm seeing something in the way they look at me oh I'm seeing something in those my beard to look okay. Patterns. New single out by Lauren Johnson. Awesome. Very cool. Um, well, I'm going to play one more song and that will conclude the first set of the Singer in the Round. Um, 
performance here at the listening room. Stick around after that, friends, and don't forget to donate if you can. Uh, all the links are in the comments. Uh, we've got Hannah Lane, Ben Travers, and Emily Petersmark herself coming up next. Live streaming. We're stream dreaming, right? All the streams are brown. <clears throat> Yeah, it does have a, it kind of paints a certain imagery. Ah, feels so good to be here. We're going to end this first set here with this next song. It's a Winter Sessions classic, but stick around. We've got Hannah Lane, Ben Travers, and Emily Petersmart coming up right next. And if you're feeling jiggy, you can donate. There's a link in the comments. And if you're wondering what jiggy means, Google it. But the link for donating is in the comments if if you're uh, if you're adept or able. Um, like I mentioned, we're gonna play another Winter Sessions classic. This is a tune inspired by the John Steinbeck novel of Mice and Men. Raise your hands if you've actually read it. Nice, awesome, awesome. But we all know of it, right? Pop culture and all. Here it goes. <laughs> And ourselves quite a plan We were living off the fat of the land But it don't always work out like it should No, it don't always work out like it should Yeah Since we lost our jobs and we, me and Lenny are busy skinning see Cause it don't always work out like it should. No, it don't always work out like it should. Imaginary rabbits and dead mice Living our lives vice to vice But it don't always work out like it should No, it don't always work out like it should Tempted by the devil in curly blonde hair Wicked in her ways and her evil eyes stare but it don't always work out like it should No, it don't always work out like it should No ha! Caught him touching Curly's wife it don't take much to see who took his life But it don't always work out like it should No, it don't always work out like it should But it don't always work out like it should No, it don't always work out like it should Stick around, friends. We got one more set. Michigan Music Alliance. You're watching Michigan Music Alliance's Spread the Music Festival live from the Listening Room in downtown Grand Rapids. We're live from Studio Park, and we just had Stove Pipe, Lauren Johnson, and Mark Lavin good with us. Stay tuned because we're going to have Emily Petersmark of the Crane Wives, Ben Travers, and Hannah Lane of Earth Radio up next. This is our final evening of Spread the Music Festival. It's been a five-day statewide, all-genre and 
all-inclusive festival featuring artists from all around the state raising money for the Michigan Artist Relief Fund. This is our second annual festival. And we're really excited that tonight is closed out exactly where it started at the listening room. And after this, you can tune in to Brian Vander Ark's solo set live from his home studio. He'll be sharing music with us from or from 9 p.m. to 9.45 p.m. live on Michigan Music Alliance and his page, Brian Vander Ark. So be sure to stick around for that and check it out. The Verve Pipe and Brian have been huge supporters of the Michigan music scene ever since uh, they got started. They've continued to be involved and engaged, and we're so thankful to have artists who care about their community and have volunteered their time to help us raise awareness for the Michigan Artist Relief Fund. If you want to get involved with Spread the Music or the Michigan Artist Relief Fund, you can check it all out at spreadthemusicfestival.org. There's information about every single performer, and you can watch all of the videos that you may have missed live on our Facebook page. Uh, they're all archived, so you didn't miss a thing. So be sure to go back and check out sets from The Accidentals, Jackson Smith, and The Gasoline Gypsies, artists from all over the state who have been streaming in support of the fund since Wednesday morning. So again, thank you to The Listening Room for hosting us. They've been an incredible partner. And we've also had some other venues involved in the festival this year, which has been an amazing um, experience. So we've had Crooked Tree Arts Center and Bliss Fest Music Organization up in Petoskey involved. They streamed live on Thursday night, and we're very um, – if you didn't watch that show, you need to go back and watch that show. You can find it on their page. We also had Lake Orion's 20 Front Street showcase some East Side artists, and that's available to watch back as well. You don't want to miss it. And then Seven Steps Up in Spring Lake last night on Saturday showcased some amazing West Michigan singer-songwriters. So there's so much content. Uh, go back and watch what you can. There's something new that you can find I guarantee you'll fall in love with. If you're an artist who's looking for more information about the Michigan Artist Relief Fund and how to apply for funding, we will open up applications on May 1st for micro grants to help artists make it through this next hump of the pandemic. We're in the same boat we were last year. Last year, we were waiting for unemployment to kick in and figuring out what was going on while live performance was stopped. We're still in that same position. We're waiting for the weather to change so we can play safely outside. We're waiting for the vaccine rollout to be completed. So we're still in need of a little bit of a helping hand. So if you feel inclined to donate, please do so. The link is in our comment section below, and it is very appreciated. So please enjoy the music tonight. Uh, We are so excited to have these amazingly talented artists from Grand Rapids with us live at the listening room. And if you haven't been in this space yet, soon you will be able to be. uh, we're, We're very excited to welcome live music back into the listening room, which is a really special place here in Grand Rapids. So Please enjoy Hannah Lane of Earth Radio, Ben Travers, and Emily Petersmark of the Crane Wives. Hannah's going to kick it off for us tonight over on the piano back there, and we'll go through. Don't don't tune out after this stream, though. Uh, stick around for Brian Vander Ark of the Verve Pipe, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Uh, Thank you so much, everyone, for putting this all together. This is really, really special. I've been looking forward to this moment for weeks. Um, So it's really exciting to be here and so grateful that there are so many passionate people in this scene willing to put their time into this and make it happen and make it special. So thank you. Um, This first song that I'm going to play is uh, off of Earth Radio's second album. It's called Mother's Breath. Charging in the vest, see. 
That was absolutely breathtaking. Oh, my God. Mm, for real. It's such a joy to be able to share a stage with you, Hannah. Likewise. Likewise. <laughs> when, I, when I first saw the, the lineup for tonight, I was like, oh, my God, I get it. I get to share a lineup with Hannah Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there, there are so many, like, incredibly talented people here tonight, and I'm so thankful that I get to share a bill with all of them, so many people that I have such deep and wonderful connections with. Yeah, very, very thankful to be here tonight. And uh, my, my friend Emily is going to be backing me up for my songs tonight, as well as playing her own music. Um, so I'm very, very excited about that. Every time I get to play with Emily, it's like Christmas. Um, I'm gonna, or, or we are. I normally play solo, so whenever I play with someone else, I need to remember to use like plural. You don't have terms. to. <laughs> I'm supporting you. Just pretend I'm a ghost. <laughs> so we are <laughs> are going to be playing a a song, a folk tune from New Zealand that blew up on TikTok earlier this year, later last year, called The Wellerman. Um, and the, one of the beautiful things about folk music is that it belongs to me just as much as it does to everyone else. So if you guys like hear the words in your head and feel so compelled, feel free to, to play and sing along either here or at home. Uh, this is called The Wellerman. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was the Billy of Tea. From shore went down on her, her right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her. All hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she dived below. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on, the wine's not cut, and the whale's not gone. The weller man makes his regular call to encourage the captain, crew, and all. Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done. Thank you guys. And if you if you enjoyed that, um, I, my friend Michael Dawes and I, who you may know as the drummer from the Accidentals, have been spending a lot of time the last year and a half recording an album of sea shanties, which it was just coincidence that shanties would become this big, huge thing. So we we picked the right obscure thing to record an album of. Um, but there's a, a recording on Bandcamp of Michael and I playing that together. So if you'd like that, you can go to bentravers.bandcamp.com and check that one out. I'm but substitute Michael tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's my turn. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you to the Michigan Music Alliance. This is just such a wonderful thing um, that's coming at such a time of need. Um, I know that so many musicians have been out of work for almost a year now, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, we are, and, and anybody who knows a musician knows that we hustle really hard when we're working. And when we don't work, we don't know what to do with ourselves. At least I don't know what to do with myself. I spent about six months on unemployment just like shuffling around my house trying to focus on my health, which whatever, the, whatever that means. Um, but it has been... Um, amazing to have this opportunity to come back and perform. 
Um, the, I wanna just say that the listening room was the last stage that I played on before the pandemic hit. And it feels very full circle to come back here and have this be like the first show that I get to perform at um, in support of such a great cause. So um, if you are able, please um, look in the comments, uh, look in the um, description box of this video. Um, please donate to the Michigan Artist Relief Fund. Um, right now it is supporting artists all across Michigan who desperately need that support. So thank you so much. Um, I'm not gonna play any Crane Wives songs tonight. I'm so sorry already. But um, I am gonna play an Emily Peters Mark original. Um, this is a song I wrote called Clean Slate. And it's about how I don't know how to fix things. I only know how to start things over. <laughs> Darling, there's a stitch missing from your sleeve. There's a short in the circuit, darling. There's a crack inside of me. I've been thinking about, thinking about, thinking about leaving in the night, chasing that unholy dollar. Thinking about, thinking about, thinking about cutting my hair, shedding my My darling, make them make you believe. Fill the chasm with spring and summer, and watch autumn leak out of me. I've been thinking about, thinking about, thinking about testing out a prayer, seeking an outside opinion. Thinking about, thinking about, thinking about cutting my hair, cutting my. Salvaging the broken pieces Make me believe, make me believe, make me believe The patches will hold long enough for me to start Thinking about, thinking about, thinking about Leaving for the coast, looking for a thrill that sticks I'm thinking about, thinking about, thinking about Cutting my hair, shedding my skin Cutting my hair, cutting my hair Thank you very much. Wow, that was so powerful and fierce. Thank you. <laughs> that means so much. Man, can I just say how flippin' awesome it is to see so many ladies in this lineup for Michigan Music Alliance? Yeah. Like, it's usually like we're like one or two, but I feel like we're the, in the majority, which feels really weird and awesome. 2021 live shows, all ladies. Here for it. Let's do it. <laughs> Um, this next song I'm going to play is uh, a tune that I just wrote uh, based off of a poem that I wrote for my patrons. Shout out to my patrons. I love you. Um, it's been great to have 
their support during this time. So very thankful. Uh, but this uh, poem I wrote um, because uh, going through winters in Grand Rapids especially are very dreary and gray and dull. And I find that my mood tends to reflect that weather pattern. So this year I decided to, you know, try to find the sunlight in every situation, reminding myself that it is shining, the sun is there. I can still, you know, imagine that I'm absorbing it through the clouds. Um, and it's still giving me life. So this is called Always Shining.
You create such a vibe with your music. It's so cool. It's so amazing. I, I think I met, um, I think the first people I met from Earth Radio was probably Justin, maybe Dutcher, um, through Mark Lavengood when they were, when they started playing with him. And I found out they were in this band called Earth Radio. And it's like, wow, they just got like the best musicians, just all of them. And mm-hmm. they're all in one band. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, I'm going to play a. Uh, a Ralph Stanley tune. We are going to play a Ralph Stanley tune. Um, I first heard this song as uh, Billy Strings had put a video on his Instagram page of him playing it with with his dad. And I was like, wow, I need to learn this song. It's so cool. It's called Mother's Not Dead. I should probably put the microphone to the the mandolin. That would help, wouldn't it? (laughs) All right, here we go. For real now. Mother's not dead.
Thank you, guys. <laughs> that song is so much fun. I also like that it's only two chords because it's easy for me to remember. Oh, I am two. I love supporting people, but my memory is Swiss cheese, so it's... That's that's one of the reasons that I started playing folk music was I'm like, man, I'm just like not good enough to play all these fancy songs, but these have like two or three chords, maybe Perfect. even one if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick, you guys. Play folk music. It's like a nice, easy beginner place to start. Um, honestly, I loved playing folk music, learning in the scene and like kind of coming to become a musician professionally. I think it was just like a really safe space to start because really it's just about like the message and the story that you're telling. Um, I've been having some hard, like some legitimate writer's block over this past pandemic, I guess. Um, I've been trying to focus on other stuff and it feels very weird to be suddenly back into like this music sphere so quickly. Um, I think like the vaccine rollout really just like made it happen so fast and now it all feels possible again. And it is very exciting and very terrifying at the same time. Um, so I just wanted to play a song. Um, I see Elle's not here, so maybe I can drop like one F-bomb and that's okay. <laughs> Um, but I wrote this song um, because I was really struggling to um, to find words for how I was feeling um, just being so isolated. We were quarantining. Um, I was dealing with some pretty difficult health issues at the time, which meant that I couldn't like even try to be social with other people. And I really, I'm a people person. I like people. So it was tough. Um, but I wrote this song just kind of like catharsis, and it was like the first thing I had written in maybe three or four months. So I just figured, why not, right? Like, why not in this terrifying moment just make it more terrifying if possible? So here's a song I've never played before. <laughs> um, and it's, it's one that'll never be played on the radio. It's called Fuck Me Up. I'm sick of my own voice Been going hoarse from telling myself what to do Walk, walk, don't you dare stop moving There's too much to be doing And you gotta do what's good for you
<laughs> Thank you very much. I'd like to speak for everyone and say that we all have felt that way. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think that also nobody is tired of hearing your voice, and Aww, we all want more of it. <laughs> thank you, Hannah. <laughs> Um, if you haven't already and you would love to donate to the Michigan Music Alliance, you can right now, baby. Uh, link is in the comments. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Um, I know many musicians are very grateful to have this artist relief fund. So really thank you everyone out there for listening and tuning in tonight and all of the nights. Um, thank you to Elle for putting this together with the Michigan Music Alliance, for the listening room for having us and letting me play this beautiful Steinway. Um, this is going to be my last song. And uh, this is off of Earth Radio's newest release called Reanimate. We released it during the pandemic in August and had a s small opportunity to play it live, but. Uh, probably hasn't really gotten out uh, very far to the public yet. So this one is called MLMB. You are the tiny flicker in my darkest room. You are the water lane, my fiery tune. You are the breath of life inside my womb. You are my love, my life. Cool my fire burning This flame has buried me deep under my skin. I fight for the thoughts that lead me away from my soul. Oh, that needs to breathe you in. You can't. your thoughts slip away, love. I can feel you coming back to me. So just breathe.
Take my breath and the blood in my veins. You are my love, my life, my light, my breath. You are my love, my life, my light, my breath. You are my love, my life, my light, my breath. You are my love, my life, my light, my breath. Thank you. The incredible Hannah Lane, everyone. Oh, so amazing. So I, I very regularly think about how blessed I am to have so many incredible, powerful women in my life. Uh, one of them, of course, being Emily. Um, another being Elle. I had the, the wonderful pleasure of working with Elle quite a bit in 2019 and early 2020 for uh, Crooked Tree, like the, the booking agency um, slash artist management thing that was going on. And that was so much fun. I had such a blast working with her and everyone else in Crooked Tree. Um, and then Lauren Johnson, also one of my very dearest friends. And this is a song that I wrote in late 2019, sometime between Harvest Gathering, like after Harvest, but before the Great Lakes Music Camp in October. And it was the first time that we had really hung out like one-on-one -on -one since Bliss Fest. Um, and I'm just feeling like super, super good and present the, the day after we had hung out. And I went back home and this song just kind of came out of me. And it's called, He Was the Wealthiest Man. There once was a man with only by friends. He'd get together, wish the time would never end. But he knew soon he would be there again He was the wealthiest man He was the wealthiest man He was the wealthiest man Surrounded by people good in their hearts He was hands the words of hell 
will send him to far distant lands Past lives and lovers restored so grand He was the wealthiest man He was the wealthiest man He was the wealthiest man Flipping through pages was a man who lived on the bend, a river where critters would drink and get fed, water so pure he could drink there instead. He was the wealthiest man. He was the wealthiest man. He was the wealthiest Thank you guys so much. That was a Ben Colk original. It was. Wow. They're, they're um, rare. They're oh. very rare, so enjoy it. <laughs> um, thank you all for being here. For those of you who are here in person and for those of you who are streaming, um, we really couldn't do this without you. This has been um, an enormous undertaking for the people who have planned it and project managed it. I just want to give a big shout out to Elle, who has been spearheading this whole thing behind the scenes, um, as well as Quinn from the Listening Room, the Listening Room in general, um, everybody who's participating in the Michigan Music Alliance. Seriously, thank you so much. Um, yeah, this is, this is a time where I think uh, music was at um, a very good, critical place um, where our local scene almost couldn't exist and without this kind of support um, we would be in a lot more trouble so it is very important that you guys support if you're able um, to just signal boost the feed if you can and um, just be kind to each other I'm going to close this out tonight. Make sure you stick around for Brian Vanderark who is going to be streaming live from his home right after we are done so don't go anywhere um, but I'm just going to close uh, the night with a little blues tune that I wrote. Um, I'm trying to get better at just like writing little sketches of songs and not being such a perfectionist. Uh, it's tough. I don't like the things that I make often. So it becomes this big battle with self, um, trying to fight that inner demon that says everything that you make is terrible. Um, but I wanted to share this song with you because I felt like it was a nice note to leave on. Um, particularly to those of us who've been quarantine, quarantining extra hard these past few months. Um, I've been quarantining with both Ben, who is my housemate, and my partner, Corey. Um, it has made our house feel both wonder, like a wonderful blessing and also a, a very beautiful cage. So <laughs> um, this is a song uh, kind of about being trapped with the people that you love. And yeah, it's called Talk To Me. Tell me what's been on your mind This house is too big without your voice To fill it up inside And I get so lost In the spaces where your words used to be So talk to me Talk, talk Talk to me Speak of love Why are you holding your tongue? Aren't you 
embarrassed by the shadows we Talk to me Tell me what's been on your mind Cause now all I can hear are the doubts That tear me up inside I need you to say You love me Thank you all so, so much for joining us from the listening room. Thank you to the listening room, uh, Michigan Music Alliance, and everyone else who was involved in making this happen. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Emily. It's lovely. Yeah, thank you, Hannah. <laughs> and also thanks to Justin, Mark, and Lauren. <laughs> yes.